time to cut your nails. I can't believe I'm doing this, but it's worth it. All the way? Yep. No! Ew! <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. My last nail, you guys. You know, she's not Don't. even gathering <laughs> the nails. It's just flying all over her okay, car. Okay, that's disgusting. <laughs> Ew. properly. I mean, don't mind me. I'm a pro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First the stool, you want the legs to be lower in the front and then higher in the back because that's going to help your back, right? You don't want to be so elevated. <laughs> okay. One thing that you really have to remember about wheel throwing is you have to be as relaxed as possible. Okay. Your breathing accounts for it. Um, the more relaxed you are, the more successful it's going to be and you want to be cautious of tense fingers. Right, you're for the beginning of it. You're not really relying on your fingers to be to do anything, yeah. and the more tense they are, it'll be harder for you to concentrate where the pressure point needs to be. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice. on center. Okay, push that clay to the center, and you want to pat it into a hill. This is a workout, you guys. Give that edge pressure. The heel of your left is going to meet the center wall of your palm. So you want to squeeze it, move up with it while you're squeezing it. So you want to do thumb over thumb, compression on top, and compression on the wall. It might not be centered yet for the first go, but it takes quite a bit of time. You want to keep the pressure point down the middle. You're pushing down with your thumb. And at the same time, your pinky is helping push that thumb down. You want to pull your wall towards you nice and steady until you have, for this amount where we have it, you want about like an inch and a half. We're trying to get half the thickness of this clay and we're gonna lift that up. Yeah, pressure, and then move straight up. Yeah, remember you're aiming for a straight wall on the outside and a straight wall on the inside. You want to push it out into the shape of a bowl. As you're pushing out, you have to be moving up at the same time because you are trying to equalize the walls of your clay. Yeah. What they're doing is that it's just collecting the mud and giving it a tiny bit of compression. Keep that nice and firm. And slide out. Sweet. Catch under with your index. Keep pushing like you're lifting and then lift. Place gently. And there's your firstborn. Ah, so <laughs> firstborn baby. Oh my god. Woo! Call that a doula, uh, what? You're a midwife. <laughs> yeah, I'm a midwife. I'm gonna check it on me next week. So this is my little bowl. That was so fun to make. It's so pretty. <laughs> So Richie, through her first little pot thing, how was that experience for you? It was very fun. I feel like I was so aware of my breathing. Yeah. Um, but I didn't do it right. <laughs> I feel like when I was actually like going in, you were um, I wasn't breathing because I tried to be stable, but you're supposed to breathe. Yeah. Um, and it, it's actually more technical than I thought. Oh yeah, 100%. Like I thought going into it, because I actually took a beginner's wheel throwing class like 
um, January 5th to February. Yeah, I don't remember. Like a six week class. Yeah, six week course. And I thought it would be easy, but it's actually super technical. And I had a hard time because I'm like a very impatient and like fidgety person. <laughs> so I just wanted to like get it done. But right. it's really therapeutic, like thinking yeah. about it because you basically don't think about anything else. Right. You just think about making, making the it pot. Right. So it was really good for my mental health. Are you glad that you cut your nails? Yeah, I'm glad that I cut my nails. It's definitely worth it. But you're sad now? No, I'm fine. It's chill. So yeah, like I said, I took a beginner's wheel throwing course with Mayan, who taught Richie. So each week, you kind of learn something new. For your experience, you kind of just did the wheel throwing aspect, Got but it. there's a lot more to it. Like you learn how to wedge your clay, you learn how to trim, and then that gets fired in the kiln, and yeah. then you sand it, and then you glaze it. There's like a lot of like different aspects. There's a process. Yeah, and I ended up actually painting two of my little bowls. Yeah. Um, I put like a little design on it, and three of my pieces are already glazed. I'll just show you guys right here. So here are my little babies. Two of them are not done yet. Um, this one still needs to be glazed and then thrown in the kiln. This one's already glazed. It actually has like a bluish design underneath the clear glaze. So these two need to be done, but these three are complete. They're so cute. I'm so happy. They're so cute. This one I wanted to turn into a candle, but honestly, I think it'd be fine as a cup. Yeah, I feel like you'd want to drink, drink from it. Yeah. I don't know. Or I could just melt the wax. And, and then, then use it. <laughs> and then I have this little guy, a little milk cream container. It's so cute. I'm gonna test to see if this actually pours out because I'm not sure. And then I have this little green bowl. It could be for like guac. Right. right? Very yeah, true. Let's test this guy. Uh, oh. Maybe you need to go like this. Yeah, you gotta go. You can't pour it slowly or else it'll just drip down the side. What's the science behind creating the a good the spout? spout? I think it has to be like long enough. Longer, so it. it but kinda... you know what? It's fine. It looks cute. I could just pour it into <laughs> my mouth like this. Okay, what? With the cream tea? of I don't tea. Know. I guess you it's could use cute. it as a cup it's as well. Cute. And yeah, unfortunately, that little creamer cup can't really pour <laughs> that well. You gotta, you gotta kind of just like there's do signs really behind fast. Yeah. But I am looking forward to throwing again. I'm actually gonna after this, I'm gonna try and throw another cup. Hopefully. Exciting. Um, but yeah, With no like guidance. Maybe a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I, I really shaping is really hard for me. Yeah. But yeah, so that was our little beginner's wheel throwing experience. Definitely go follow Studio Fundamentals mm -hmm. on Instagram. If you live in Vancouver, book a class, turn on your post notifications because classes fill up really quick. And yeah, I guess I'm going to hop on the wheel and throw a little cup or something. Now it's time for her to cut her nails. I didn't know that I got to throw today, so I have to cut my nails now. <laughs> um, and I've been growing them. That's you have been, because you finished your class, right? I did, I did. Check your, huh? check your forehead out. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, so we just finished up our little session at Studio Fundamentals. I have clay in my hair. You really do. Did that was so fun? much fun. I'm definitely gonna do it again. Yeah, shout out to Studio Fundamentals. Um, May Ann, she's amazing. I always rave about them to like all of my friends. We saw all our friends like take like the goals. class. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It was so funny. It was so fun like seeing their little creations. But yeah, definitely check them out on Instagram at Studio Fundamentals on their website studiofundamentals.com. Um, Don't forget to follow us on our Instagram, Instagram platform at Cassie Massenkai at Richie Pumintuan and at Weird to the Nines. Don't forget to hashtag Weird to the Nines to be featured. We got that account up and running again. So yeah, every Monday. Wednesday and Friday Bye. will be a new post from one of you guys. So
So hashtag to be featured. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. That's not three o'clock. Oh, here you go. <laughs> redo, redo. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's good, we're good, we're good. Ooh, all that candy. I can't get off. <laughs>